so this is now being recorded. Um, that way we can upload it to YouTube and anyone who missed it gets a chance to hear the details. We'll give it a couple of minutes here. Anyway, thank you for coming in. We can uh, get started in a few minutes here, as I said. started in just a little bit. Um, if you don't know, I'm going to put the link to the form in the chat in case anyone has a question that they want to ask. Again, um, those questions will be answered or topics will be discussed at the end. So if you have a, um, a question to ask, just use this Google form. It's anonymous. Um, if you want to put your username, you can, it doesn't matter. Um, but I just put that in the chat just now. Hopefully the music isn't too loud. One more minute before we get started here. That way we'll make the use, best use of our time. Um, again, this is being recorded, so um, whether there are people in the chat or not, this has to happen. So um, we'll get started in just a few more minutes, um, one or two minutes, and we'll get started. Um, and like I said, uh, for anybody just joining us, uh, there's a link in the chat um, that has the Google form that's anonymous. If you so if you want to, it's optional to add your username um, so that you can ask questions, which will be discussed at the end. So I'm not sure how chat works, if that link's going to show up, but if you need the link, let me know. I think that is enough.
get started here. Okay. Um, so uh, you can keep this form. Uh, the Google form will stay open. So if anybody has a question or you sh comes to your mind during the conversation, um, but it wasn't touched on as much as you want it to be, you can go ahead and submit as many times as you want. So um, yeah. So that will stay open um, all the way till the end. And if you anything comes to mind, just pop it in there, and um, we'll go over it. Okay. So um, basically, to start, um, I'm Jay. Inkblot founder, um, basically um, been here since day one. It's my own idea, started from scratch here at the, in a Discord call with some friends who are also artists. Um, I am 25 years old. Um, I go by the pronouns of he, they, um, and I am non-binary. I live in Arizona, which is where the company is also registered. Um, so yes, that is a little bit about me. Um, I am a graphic designer. I have my own company before Inkblot, um, which is graphic design, logo design. Um, it's really a racing company, to be quite honest. Um, but I do that and have done that long before Inkblot started. So that is just a little bit about me. Um, you can find a little bit more in-depth profile on the Patreon um, or and on the Ko-Fi, which are not behind any tiers, it's free for everyone to read. Um, so yeah, so yeah, um, that's just a little bit about me. Um, if you're new, don't know me, um, that's it. That's, that's the basic rundown there. Um, so to get started, uh, we have these town halls just for complete transparency. Um, we are uh, trying to make sure that you know we can develop a system of trust with our users. Um, given that you know, it, you know, and I'll preface this with the fact that I, I'm a very blunt person. Um, I don't like to beat around the bush. Um, so it, I don't see a point. It's just, it wastes time. Um, and I think that, you know, we all know what the elephant in the room is. So, you know, um, given that this is something that's been going on for so long, there's no point in candy coating anything. So I say that because I say that we have transparency because there has been a lot of projects that have come and gone or come and stayed and have not been completely transparent with their users from the start um this is something that you know uh that i would see as deception um and as if from my point of view as a user if i was a user or somebody that looking for a new website to join and put my content on um i would want transparency so i do the same with inkblot town halls or so are quarterly i usually sprinkle in a, a q a or um, a little update um, in between those quarter, uh, those quarters, um, which if you're not aware, um, quarterly is every three months. Um, that is the business quarter, financial quarters, basically of the year. So um, this is our fourth one and our last one um, before we have another one probably in January or February. Um, and that's how we go from there. So anyway, yeah, so these town halls are just basic, uh, basic information, what's going on behind the scenes. It, it, it honestly development is in the sense that you know it looks like it probably will look like we're not doing much it but we are doing a lot um and i will go into that i will literally show you guys the bug board um and i'll go ahead and it, you know it, like i said complete transparency that's what i strive for there's no point in beating around the bush so um we'll do what we have to do um in order to uh, create a system of trust between our users here so um you need to know who you're supporting you need to know how uh you know what they're doing with that support and basically i'm here to uh, show you what we're doing and how your support has helped us get this far um so really quick if you're still new um just coming in new to it all um or you know maybe perhaps you aren't aware inkblot has been around for two and a half years so um we are not as new as some people think um we are also a website and an app but we're a website first so a lot of our development goes into the website which is then reflected on the app now we put apps last um only because well um not everybody has a mobile phone and also um it is the restrictions of the app store is very tiresome and sometimes very difficult which we'll get into a little bit later um but we are a website before we are an app and um given my research 
when starting Inkblot and developing it, um, I noticed that the website is far more, um, well, far more needed or I guess liked over an app for artists and creators in general, um, which makes sense. So that is why I push the web app before I push the apps um, and we focus a lot of our time on the web app. So um, I do know that, you know, people will call it a website, people will call it a web app. It's, it is a web app. It is in order for our apps to talk to our website seamlessly, it has to be a web app. And also it, the code that we use is for it to be a web app. Now, the, in, the differences between a website and a web app, there's some um, differences, uh, sometimes being the fact that it's static or that it's we use HTML over certain other things. Um, but for the most part, uh, there's not too many differences. Um, but if we were to have it be the genuine or the original website structure, it would be hard to have apps. So being that, you know, we're, we're a startup basically, um, and we are in modern day, right? Um, we need to stick with the times. Unfortunately, the times is saying that we need to also have a portion of our site to be mobile. So that is why we are a web app before we are a website. Um, we can't, we can't remain stagnant. We can't remain in the past. Um, but we will try to have those website features as much as possible. Um, but yeah, so um, that is a little bit about Inkblot. Um, like I said, we are on iOS, we're on Android, we have our website, our web app. So um, those things are already in order. And um, yeah, that's why we are in open beta. So um, speaking of open beta, that's where we're getting started here. Uh, we launched open beta on the 2nd of September. So this month, a couple of weeks ago, um, we are now approaching about 5,000 users. Um, this is almost um, double uh, almost triple basically of what our original number was. Um, it grows every day. We are about 50 to a hundred new users a day at this point. So, um, it's growing very fast within our first week, we gained 2000 users. Um, we are now at 21,000 posts where before we were only at 10,000. So we have 21,000 submissions to the site, whether that be art, music videos text posts um that 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 encompasses everything so um again you know uh, we had 10,000 when we were in closed beta and now we are at 21 it has doubled in less than a month so um those are the numbers and that's what it's looking like it is very um it's very new <laughs> to me um I don't know uh, who's in the chat here, but um, if you don't know, I we have been in closed beta for a very long time. Um, I started closed beta back in September of 2020, um, where it was just me. I was doing all the coding, the logic, and everything by myself, and I had 50 users. So seeing f almost 5,000 users is very interesting to me. Um, but yeah, so that's where we're at with open beta details. Um, and those are the numbers. Um, we are doing uh, about, uh, well, when we first started out, we had maybe about 20 to 30 tickets a day. Um, it was quite a lot. Uh, we have a small team, so we were doing whatever we need to do. Um, it's now kind of averaged out to maybe about five a day, which is fine. I think that that means um, either everyone lost interest <laughs> or, um, they found all the bugs. So, um, or the bugs are just harder to find. So, um, that's what we're looking at right now. Um, that's, that's what we're doing. We're doing, um, probably one to two updates a week. We've been kind of religiously doing one update a week instead of two, like we used to. Um, only because you know we're tackling a lot of bugs at the same time so usually we try to update on Thursdays um, and uh, that's that's pretty much what we strive to do um, so we're constantly working you can see the change log which I can go ahead let me see if I can even remember I change log here it's
and I'll, I'll pull that up. But yeah, um, so our change log will have everything that we are that we worked on um, and that we've addressed, all bugs, fixes, improvements, um, things like that. So it's not um, entirely. Uh, it won't. We have the monitoring the status page, which you can always see, um, and you also have the feedback board, which is feedback.inkblot.art. Or if you want to look at the status page, which the bugs that we are monitoring are currently aware of, is status.inkblot.art. And I'll put these in the chat as soon as I get this change log up. The change log is unfortunately not as clean a URL, <laughs> so it's not off the top of my head. Um, let's see. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so. Um, this is our change log here, and if you're not familiar with how, what that does, it just like I get, like I said, it shows complete transparency of what we updated, what we addressed, um, the fixes and stuff like that. And then um, you can just go all the way back. Um, I'll be quite honest, I kind of fell off. You can see that there's February and then it's boom September, um, but you know uh, there was a lot going on in closed beta um, and updating this constantly. Even we were doing sometimes two to three updates a week. So you can imagine that that is a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, so maybe I'll find the time to go back and do that since we have all of that logged on our end. So um, basically it's not like it's lost data. It's just, I didn't put it on the change log. So, but I'm taking this a little bit more seriously. Obviously now that we're in open beta, open beta and taking this more seriously as in the change log um, so that you can see that. The status page, however, has an even more in-depth um, where you can literally see all of our hard work um, here at the bottom. So again, these are all the things that we are aware of in um, addressing or monitoring. Um, when you make a bug report, which I highly recommend if you find something, uh, you can, it takes like maybe two, three minutes to send a report to us so that we're made aware and we log it in. Um, but you can see here, we have all of our past incidents. You can go all the way back. Um, I'm not going to do that because it's a lot of, uh, of stuff. So, <laughs> um, but it starts in July and, um, yeah, it, uh, it goes even further. So yeah, so you can see that all of our work is constantly being updated here, if not um, on the change log already. Um, so yeah, so basically that's um, that's that. So um, welcome in if you're new uh, to the chat or just coming in, welcome in. Um, I will post the Q&A form if you have any questions that you need to be discussed at the end. Here's our Q&A form right here. It, it's optional to add your Inkblot account. You can always just put a topic, put as many questions as you want. So yeah. Um, but yeah, so that is our change log. That is our speed as of right now is one update a week. Um, and the apps will also be updated as well with any changes or bugs that we find on the web app, because again, they do communicate. Um, so anything, usually bugs that we find on the web app or usually on the mobile app as well. Um, not all the time, but 90% of the time. So, um, basically, yeah. So, but the thing with the mobile apps is that Apple or Android or Google play will have to approve that new update. Sometimes it takes a few days. So the web app is in our control. So that's usually updated as soon as we say it's updated. Mobile apps usually takes for Apple one to two days. If it's on the weekend, then probably two to three days. Um, if it's on Google Play, which is Android, that is going to be sometimes up to a week. They've been kind of bordering five days now. So, um, you know, we will post when we update and do these fixes. So the change log will get posted, but that lower portion is going to be where you see it says the mobile app focus will just kind of, you have to wait for that update. So to, to go through on the, you know, the app store. So, um, yeah. So anyway, um, that's that about the, that kind of process and everything. Um, I think, uh, we have next year is development. So our current status right now, um, we're at one version 1 1.74, um, which is pretty much, I like to call that a package since we also include the fixes to the mobile app. 
Um, we're working on 1.75 right now. 1.75 is going to have a lot of fixes and also a lot of improvement in terms of lagging and um, just speed, especially with the mobile apps. I know that there was some crashes. In 7.4 package, we uh, included our crash analytics so that um, our developer and myself can take a look at what's going on, what's crashing, and better identify the issue and address it. Um, so, you know, I like to apologize um, for the crashing that's going on there. Um, it's not as much, but obviously, you know, it's affecting people's use of the app. So, um, again, we'll, we're addressing that. We have the crash analytics so that we found the bugs. Now in 7.5, uh, we'll address the bugs um, and especially the lagging for pagination and for just scrolling in general. We've addressed that. The issue with that was that we had the streamlining on. So if you're not aware, that's pre pretty much real-time updates, which would put a lot of stress and strain on the device or the browser. So um, I know that we've had some reports about Firefox, especially because Firefox actually uses your CPU, while Chrome kind of does not do that. So Google Chrome and other browsers tend to not use the device's CPU. So imagine if you're trying to go on Inkblot and you also have Photoshop open or you have um, you know, Clip Studio or you have other things open, Firefox would also be draining some of that usage. So that's why our Firefox uh, use users have not been having a great time versus our Google Chrome users. So um, again, if you use Firefox, it does take on some of your CPU more than other browsers. So um, that is why uh, with us having that streamlining on, it was probably not a great experience. Um, but we've cut that off and have a notification so that users will be notified when there's new posts, but it will not update that. It will not be in real time. Um, it'll be pretty much exactly how other websites are. Um, but with that bug, um, it has caused some delay for one, 0.75 package, which was supposed to be updated on Thursday, but um, we ran into a bug after cutting off the streamlining. This bug was a response bug, basically. So basically when you hit the like button or hit the reblog button, it should be instantly, um, but that bug was causing a five to seven second delay. If we were to, if I was to pause for five to seven seconds, you would definitely notice. Um, so, um, you can imagine if you hit something, a button, and you have to wait five to seven seconds. So with that issue, we had to address it, the time complexity. So we went ahead and addressed it, and I have my developer meeting this morning, and we fixed it. So now we're just focusing on doing some other little touch-ups, um, and we'll be pushing that out either today or tomorrow. So that is uh, why the update was not posted this week. Again, I apologize for that. Um, all right, so that was that, the bug with 7.5. And then also, um, so I do wanna just, you know, again, completely transparent here. Um, we are a small team, it's me um, and the other developer whose name is Amir. Um, I've been working with him since the Kickstarter. So um, we're approaching now a year together. Um, he is a full stack developer in Flutter. The framework for our web app and our apps is Flutter, um, which is based off of the code Dart, um, which is basically a mixture of JavaScript, HTML, and other codes. It's new. It is built. Um, it's a code that is uh, maintained and built with um, by Apple. I mean, not Apple, Google. So Google maintains this code, updates it frequently. Our old website was on PHP, which I've mentioned a few times in other Q and A's and stuff like that. Um, if you're not familiar, PHP is one of the most oldest codes or languages for code, and it is very old and seldom updated. It has a lot of insecurity, a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of insecurities, vulnerability issues. Our first initial closed beta uh, prototype was on that PHP but we've moved over to Flutter, which is new, constantly updated, constantly uh, maintained and secure, far more secure. Um, and we moved, to, uh, we moved that on the end of May, beginning of June. So um, I know that there were some users that were quite upset about that, 
And again, I still apologize. You can look back on the feedback board um, and you can see our announcements area where um, I address the issues that users had with that change. Unfortunately, PHP is so outdated that the databases that were used with PHP are also outdated. So thus, transferring from PHP to Flutter um, caused a lot of issues in terms of we did not have some of the same uh, information on accounts. Some accounts, uh, not some, all the accounts were lost their followers, lost uh, their following, um, and some information was not brought over. Um, the only, and we literally had to transfer over all of the posts, the submissions for each account by hand. That was something that took quite a while. It was very stressful and um, obviously nobody enjoyed it or liked it. So that was a hard time back in June. Um, but we're past that. Um, there's still some that are trickling in from the transfer, um, which we are addressing and we're fully knowledgeable about any issues that happened during the transfer. So bugs that occurred while that transfer was happening. But um, security wise, that transfer went very good, which was great. Um, because again, that old database trying to transfer to a new database was impossible. Um, I tried everything. Um, me and Amir discussed a lot of different ways that we could do that. And it just would have been a catastrophe if we did it any other way other by just transferring each account and then uploading by hand. So um, we had that and um, that happened. So that's, that's a little information about what happened in June um, and basically what, uh, what we're doing now. So um, our, our website is on Flutter and we are doing our best. So again, Mir is a full stack developer on Flutter and he uh, is pretty much a full stack, if you're not aware, is a jack of all trades, basically. It's like a handyman. Handyman knows a little bit about plumbing, knows a little bit about electri electricity, electrician stuff, knows a little bit about, you know, HVAC, you know, um, but is not an expert in each of those categories, right? You can say that you're an expert and maybe you're 80% knowledgeable about the electrician stuff, but are you 80% about the plumbing? Are you 80% about that? You can't really say that. So that's jack of all trades. So, um, that is what a full stack developer is. They are aware of front end, which is pretty much the interface that you see, the, um, the, the pathways, the processes that happen right in front of you. And then uh, the back end as well, which is basically all the logic, the database, the everything um, there in the background. So that is what Amir is. And then I am considered a project manager. Um, I'm learning Flutter myself. Um, of course, I did not start uh, as I'm, I'm was, I have no history for coding, okay? Um, again, I'm complete transparency here. Um, so um, I'm just an artist that wanted to see a change. That is literally why this started. Um, I have absolutely no, no history with coding. Um, I've been learning, so I have 2.5 years of learning all of this stuff and the processes and everything that's happened. And of course, I'm still learning, but I've recently started taking up coding with the Flutter so that I can understand a little bit more of what's going on and um, help make this all better. So that it's not just a mirror, because a mirror is, he's, he's great, he's absolutely amazing, um, but he doesn't understand what an artist needs. So he's not an artist. That's the thing. So I'm an artist and then he's a developer and we're just working together. So we have to kind of talk to each other and figure out like, okay, what are we looking for? What kind of processes are we looking for? What kind of features, what kind of things does an artist want in the website? So that is, that, that is pretty much, um, how we work together. Um, and also, you know, some, some information about myself is, you know, I'm learning these things and Amir is a jack of all trades. So this brings to my next point is that we are taking on a UI expert. We're doing an, but pretty much like an internal, not an internal audit, but just a external audit from a UI expert. Um, he will be taking a look at the website to help with our user interface. I know that we have a lot of feedback, both positive and, um, you know, critical of our UI. And being that we're a jack of all trades and I am still learning myself, 
Um, of course, our UI is not the best. I'll say that right now, be you know, very honest. Our UI is not the best. Um, we have tried to do things ourselves, obviously, tried to you know, kind of study other uh, possibilities and stuff like that. Um, but again, we are not an expert in user interface or user um, experience. So user interface, you'll see that those are kind of paired, user interface, user experience. So UX, UI, um, those are uh, very, very um, critical or, you know, very well needed. Um, but if you're not an expert, you're probably not going to do it right. So again, we are, uh, Amir is a jack of all trades and I am still learning. Um, so we are bringing in an expert and he will be taking a couple of, uh, a couple of uh, notes and being very critical of the website. This is only possible through the support of our users. Again, it's not free. None of it is. Um, so, you know, we're, we're, we're hiring, uh, an expert to be able to take a look at the website and help us out so that we can make those changes and hopefully better improve a buff. Um, the Patreon, the uh, uh, Patreon Ko-Fi members, um, you all will have access to some of those drafts before we implement it into the website and, um, pro users as well will get a glimpse of that and, uh, help us vote on what, you know, what's better and, and stuff like that. Of course, we cannot, um, you know, in the most blunt way, we cannot please everyone, um, but we can improve. That is what we're aiming for with this audit. So um, that's what we'll be doing. And um, also, I'm just going to show you a little bit of uh, what we do here on the background. So this is our bug board. Um, so this is everything that we're doing, everything. Um, and of course it doesn't, it's not just all the way across, it's actually all the way down as well. So this is everything that we're working on. This is what we look at pretty much every day. Um, this is when you send a bug report, it comes here. Um, oh, I don't think it's showing. One second. What is that? What is that doing? It's probably because I made it full screen. There we go. Yeah, so when you um, when you send a bug report in, it comes here basically. And then uh, we take a look at it, we address it, we prioritize it. And as you can see, we have like these little labels here, 1.75, 1.74, things that we're working on. Um, you can see all these issues are done. Um, things that have already been reviewed, things that are in progress, things that need to be done, things that are recently reported, improvements that we want to make as well, which are all from the feedback board, literally suggestions or things that just, you know, we came to mind, we definitely need. Um, so, you know, uh, this is, this is what we look at every day. Um, this, this is, um, yeah, this is, this is development, um, and how we go about things. Um, Again, it, it might not look like we are doing anything some days, but we are constantly working. I have, depending on how the week goes or when we have our first meeting, we have about two, uh, three to four developer meetings. So me and Amir meet three to four times a week. So um, again, your uh, support with Inkblot is going into use. I, I, I don't know how else to, to say it, but it's, it's being used as, as wisely and as efficiently as possible. Um, we do these things every day. I work on this every single day, weekends included, obviously, because today's Saturday. <laughs> um, so, you know, uh, it's, it's very much appreciated. And I try to use, um, and manage that support as much as possible. So um, that's just a little bit of background on what our development looks like in our processes. Um, again, bug reporting is a big thing. The only way we can get better is for people to use the site and to report issues to give us feedback. I, I cannot stress that enough. The only way to get better is to continue using the site, report bugs, give us feedback. Um, and obviously, um, please, please, please 
do this in a um, polite and professional manner if you are to send anything in um, because you know things stack up so obviously you know it's not enjoyable to you know be I don't think anyone you know is going to take feedback um, you know feeling giddy inside you know what I mean you might think that you're doing something like amazing and then someone critiques it right so you know we're doing our absolute best so if we get somebody that's giving us feedback and gives us the a positive you know like hey this is good but you could work on this and you know I think that this would look better da 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 I'm going to take that way better and so is Amir and so is our team we're going to take that 10 times better than someone saying well this is wrong this is wrong and this really sucks this looks really bad and yeah you know can you fix this right now and it might sound like I'm exaggerating but we have gotten that before and we still get that so um you know given the resources and how small of a team we are I just ask if you are going to send anything in please be polite <laughs> that's all um we're doing our best and we work on this every single day um just you know please just be polite and we'll fix it as fast as possible i'm telling you um if I, if we don't get that one update usually we do the we try to get that one and then push a second one in the same week um but we're doing our absolute best with the knowledge resources and funding that we have so um that that's all that i'm asking there so um but yeah so this is what development looks like um and uh, that's that's pretty much what we do um and what we have next and obviously that comes to the funding so the kickstarter funds um if you're aware we were kickstarted back in october of last year um and those kickstarter funds were estimated to uh, be ending in june um we were able to stretch it out just a couple of more months um but obviously uh those funds have now been exhausted um there's only development costs is money so yeah <laughs> um and having a team of people is necessary um so we have two staff members right now um shout out to those two staff members it definitely made things a lot easier rather than managing it with one person um it is necessary because there is uh potholes that can come up there is challenges there is um issues that can occur when there's not enough staff um so that that's it it's to be frugal but also to be efficient and good quality right so um we have we need the basics basically so our funding is for the kickstarter is completely exhausted at this point um if anything um the we have the patreon and the co fi members which shout out to them um and any donors we are absolutely extremely grateful for that um it keeps us running um literally and um it keeps us going so uh you know otherwise um i will be going back to including my personal funds to the project um just to keep it afloat so that is what it started as and if it has to come back to that then that's what i'll do so um basically uh that's where we're at uh with the funding this was obviously estimated on the Kickstarter to have been exhausted in June, um, and I made it stretch to September, um, and that's pretty much about it. So um, I think uh, with that current, uh, with the current state of things, given the fact that the world is going on, there's wars happening, there is plagues, not really plagues, but you totally get what I mean, sickness. Uh, illness and obviously on top of that sprinkle in some recession um, I will have to change the business model again um, so that we are able to continue our work um, that business model I've kind of tweaked it so that it will be pretty much uh, e-commerce heavy heavy um, not in the sense of uh, instead of you know, uh, perhaps the rewards that we offer or not is 
put this not as hmm, I don't know, I'm losing the word here I'm, just, I'm guessing that the, the the rewards that we're offering currently are not uh, you know you know I'm, I'm stalling here but uh, yeah so you get it the rewards aren't cool enough I guess that if for lack of better words cool enough right now um, to perhaps uh, uh, bring in more people for our membership so um, I'm gonna head, go ahead and uh, start designing because that's what I do best um, I mean, merch is my thing so we'll have to start making some merch um, I have things here equipment here that can help with the production of that so that it won't be costly um, and go ahead and start getting some of that stuff onto our store and uh, go ahead and uh, see what we can do uh, for the project there in the funds um, but yeah so that is uh, pretty much the current status um, this is also kind of shifted things in the sense that you know in past town halls I've said that I do not want to do any volunteer but we have now um, taken on uh, volunteer team applications for our moderation um, it's looking pretty good the applications are very nice and uh, I've been interviewing or doing screenings um, for the last few days and we'll continue to do screenings um, for the next week um, again I do not do any of this under the table everything is done with agreements contracts and legal forms I don't see a, a point in doing anything under the table um, that's that just leads to bad to bad things so all of this will be contracted agreements legal um, and obviously monitored heavily um, with a fine eye there um, so we'll have our volunteer team um, because we are classified as the LLC we cannot uh, we are considered a for-profit business a nonprofit organization will have a easier time with volunteers a for-profit business would not unless it is very critically and carefully managed which is something that you know I do not want to put extra stress but given the situation um, we need our volunteer team because we're growing exponentially outside of our own um, capabilities with a small team so we are bringing on uh, two to three but I possibly at this point a fourth volunteer and I'll be conducting those interviews if you are interested in that um, we have um, a form there uh, which I'll grab and put at the end of the stream there um, I can put that actually I'll just do that right now So this would be a form if you want to, if you're interested in volunteering, helping out, the max amount of hours will be eight a week, um, but what is necessary is four a month. It's very lax, I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not looking for workhorses, I am looking uh, for just help, that's it. Um, anyone that is passionate about what we're doing and wants to contribute, uh, go ahead and give this a look. Um, it is very, um, very very uh advised for us to work with people that is in our own community which is why i didn't just post this on just any who site so um this was just posted on our twitter and within our discord um because again it's, it's more important to work with your own community than it is to get somebody from outside of it because that will be a harder time trying to understand and bring someone in that has absolutely no idea what our mission and our um, our goal is so um, we're looking for users within our own community so don't feel like you have to have uh, been on the website very long to be able to qualify um, so yeah so we'll be doing our volunteer team for moderations of the submissions because again as I said before um, we're we have over over at least 200 submissions a day at this point um, and because of Inkbot's content um, that it allows we are uh, accepting NSFW and Gore and these things need to be moderated um, very closely um, to adhere to our content guidelines. If you're not aware of our content guidelines, we allow NSFW, but obviously with some restrictions. Um, and 
obviously anything that's illegal should not be on there uh, and that's how we do it um, with that we have our tagging system which also allows these things to um, oh, so that users that do not want to see NSFW would be able to browse confidently and um, you know safely to uh, not to filter out uh, the content that they do not want to see and vice versa so um, we also have minors on our website um, in our website it's 16 plus all minors accounts are automatically filtering out NSFW they will not see those accounts and they will not see those posts that happens automatically and, and it will only allow them to be able to filter those or turn that on when they age out so technically no minors have access to that until a minor becomes an adult so therefore no minors only adults have access to nsfw filters um and we are 16 plus only and do not have plans to change that i know that that is not as a not as common among other websites um but we uh well not we but i have made that decision given the fact that um, the personal experience and also from user feedback so that will not be changed i do not have any plans it's been going very well so um, we are a 16 plus website and we'll stay that way um so yeah so anyway so because of the uh submissions uh the account of the submissions every day uh we need some volunteers to take a look at these monitor them uh, make sure that things are going pretty well any work that is untagged will obviously uh, show up on the uh, latest page which we can't have so we're trying to also kind of educate our users on how things work um, being that we're a new website and this filter system and the way that we have our accounts um, you know um, our account status or accounts are displayed um, is a little bit different from other websites so we, we not only need to moderate but we also need to educate so we'll be doing that with that with that volunteer team is as well as the staff um, to help um, this community kind of learn and also to curate the content um, so that it works with Inkblot's content guidelines so um, the content guidelines was made first it has always been there um, it's been very clear and concise if you need a link to the content guidelines um, you can go to support.inkblot.art and that will give you all of our policies and our guidelines and that will pretty much give you everything our, con our content guidelines is everything that you know basically it's the question that i ask when hiring or it's a question that i ask when screening volunteers um we all are on the same page and we all need to be that's just point blank so um there's the cases or reviews of submission is done um as a team pretty much more than one person uh i don't think until even with just new team members, I don't think that I would allow anybody um, to review a case or submission on their own. We can't have anyone making uh, calls on things that don't adhere to our content guidelines and letting things or loopholes or, or someone that's saying that this is okay when it's really not. And I know that this stuff has happened on other websites, so this is why um, I bring this up. Um, and it's something that I do not want to happen here we all need to be on the same page and until that is established um you know review cases of cases or reviews of submissions will not be done you know by someone's lonesome so some, someone's not going to make a uh, uh a judicial case or not a judicial case administrative case um against a user unless there's somebody else that has also reviewed that case as well so um i know that with the volunteer team um there could be perhaps some uh, weariness or suspicion so i'm here to just kind of say that you know i'm trying to look out as best as i can so that the team is cohesive um, and clear and you are able to trust the team that is helping develop the site that you want to be on okay um that pretty much uh, sums it up don't mean to be all dreary and rainy um but you know 
these things happen. Uh, so we gotta we gotta address everything as a whole. Um, I think that's everything that I wanted to discuss here on the town hall. Of course, it took up a lot of time, but we here at the end of our Q and A. Um, I'm gonna. I don't know if I need to post it again. I'll, I'll go ahead and post it again, just in case. Um, if you have a question or you want a topic to be discussed in the next few minutes or so, um, you can go ahead and use that Google form. Um, it's completely anonymous, so you don't have to submit anything, um, like any information about yourself. Um, you can go ahead and just uh, ask a question if you want. Uh, and we'll go from there. So we're going to start here um, and go from there. So yeah, uh, We'll start here at the top. Or we'll start at the beginning, actually. Okay, so our first question is, how does Inkblot differ from an algorithmic, algorithmic system? How does it help artists get seen compared to, say, DeviantArt? So, an algorithmic system. So... Inkblot doesn't have an algorithm. It's chron it's chronological, so um, it, you know there's always gonna be some type of algorithm. Whether it's aggressive or not is the question, right? Um, our algorithm is chronological. We do not do any submission, uh, any suggestive um, algorithms as of at, at right now. We're getting our database together, um, and then we'll make those decisions. But as of right now, we don't. Uh, we use the trending. We have like our feature posts on the home feed, and that trending post is basically any post that can get attention um, within a few minutes and uh, within the hour or within the day that gets uh, you know quite a bit of attention there. Um, so, um, but it's not. We don't have a the best post ever type of logic. We don't have a. it's not bias it's just the attention on the post as of right now the engagement of that post so um it's it's just trending and those posts don't stay up there forever um now we're, we're making a feed we're making a featured area which i've discussed in the in the discord i'm very leery of this um because i've had feedback in the past because again i've been making inbot for two and a half years so i've gotten a lot of feedback and a lot of point of views and and, you know, uh, obviously we, we had to find a middle ground. So we're going to have a featured area as soon as we we just got most of our database together. Um, but um, once we get our query system together as well, that will help with suggest, suggesting posts to users. But we're probably going to make the feedback, uh, the feature post area on the website or the web app. We're going to have that be more of a tailored experience if that makes sense basically instead of like oh this is the best post ever and it's the best post ever but it's actually not anything that i'm interested in um like you know so that's usually the case right like you know it's 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 a really nice piece of art or it's a really nice post but i'm not interested in that thing that you know xyz that it's featuring so we're gonna try to do based off of like hashtags or based off of like topics based, based off of what you like. Um, and that's probably gonna be, it's probably gonna be more filter based basically. Um, if you think of like AO3, AO3 has, doesn't have an algorithm. It just does chronological, chronological order, which would still technically be some type of logic, but otherwise it doesn't suggest you anything. It, you have to filter it. You need to curate your feed, basically. Um, but, you know, it's not the fact that we're going to... Uh, we're not going to put the whole thing on there. But obviously, there's going to be, okay, the best the, the best post ever, right? There's going to be there. It's going to be there. But you're going to be able to filter it, right? So you need to press some buttons, <laughs> basically. So we'll have that as a default, and then we'll have it so that you can filter that out. And then you can see the best post ever for, I don't know, pixel art. Then you can see the best post ever for um, this, whatever, you know, um, animal art or, um, you know, what have you. So um, it's, it's, 
will have that default featured post, the, what you're used to on DeviantArt, but we'll also have those changes so that you can filter it down to what you're interested in. Um, but yeah, you, you know, we'll, we'll do we'll do our best in terms of helping people get seen and experience other things um, with the default featured area, um, but we'll we'll narrow it down some. Um, and obviously, you know, th this is not implemented yet. This is this is, like, like I said, this is something that we're, we're going to add. Feedback is more than welcome. That it's you know that's why I have the Discord. I'm active in the Discord. We have our feedback board. We you know we're open to discussion. It, it, this is not like a okay, this is it. Blindfolders on. I'm not doing anything else. You know, please talk to us. Let us know what you want to see. I cannot. We cannot do this by ourselves. That that's point blank. And we haven't d done it by ourselves. I have pretty much at some point. I, as I've already discussed. I, I was having this conversation during a screening call yesterday, at some point, none of this is gonna be from my original idea. There's gonna be so much feedback and there's gonna be so much, um, there's gonna be some more, some improvements that are not of my own creation. There's gonna be so much feedback that at some point, it's not going to be the first draft that I made. And it's not going to be something that I can call personally and say, this is mine. This is, I did everything by myself. So I'm asking for feedback so that we can create something. We cre create a house that is built by everyone and everyone had a little bit of part of a brick on it. And it could be something that is made and managed to be something great. So again, anything that I'm saying that's in a rough draft or has not been implemented yet can always, always be given feedback and discussed. Um, making Inkblot more desktop friendly. Some of us don't have mobile devices. Okay. Um, we have our web app. I don't know what what's in, being implied here. Um, again, you know, we, we've discussed some issues with the lag on some browsers and stuff, which we are fixing in our 7.5 update, but... have our web app mm, I'm not sure what to do too much about this question or this mention um, but yeah we're we uh, yeah I don't, mm, I don't know <laughs> I don't know um, but yeah we have our web app uh, and I, 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 I guess that, that that addresses that I don't know what else to say um, again we're fixing on the speed and the lag um, which in this next update we've already addressed and will be pretty much a, a very big improvement but um, we have our web app and we have our apps so if you do not have a mobile device then um, then yeah sure uh, you know we have our desktop there um, if you don't want the web app then you can use the mobile browser um, but yeah we are we have our, our web our website there. is it easy to form a community on inkblot or is it disconnected Instagram isk I mean, it, we have our groups, which we're working on. Um, I guess that that would be more of like a community-based thing. Um, obviously, you can, you know, at some point we can give you the tools to create a community or to engage and make friends, but we cannot automatically create that community for you. This is an engagement user interaction type thing that needs to be you know, there, there needs to be some type of responsibility built off of the user rather than just us doing all of that. Because again, you know, we can give you the tools, but we cannot, can't help you make the community for each and every single one. So we have the groups there, um, which you can find here, um, right here on that dropdown. Um, and you can also find it here as well. This is where it used to be. We've only kept that there in terms of like, you know, stuff for old users that knew where to go. Um, but yeah, uh, so in terms of community, that's the best thing that we have going on right now is groups. Um, 
and engagement. And uh, you can message people, you can comment, uh, you can like, you can blog, and engagement with others. Um, and obviously we have our community Discord where you can meet other Inkblot users. Uh, I'm new here, I haven't used Inkblot before, but it looks really exciting. Would love to hear your thoughts. In what ways is it similar for your, of your favorite art platforms and what way, in what ways is it better? Uh, it's similar to, it's definitely similar to Tumblr, it's definitely similar to Instagram and Twitter. Uh, I'm not going to say that they're all my favorite art platforms, but um, Tumblr I definitely was on there for a while. Um, back in the early 2010s, I was uh, definitely on there, so th that reblog area is definitely a reminiscent of the Tumblr reblog stuff. Notice how we say reblog instead of retweet, so... <laughs> um, Instagram in a sense that, you know, the old, you know, you can uh, do the multi posts and those type of features and uh, DeviantArt will be a feature type thing that we are kind of implementing the inbox type thing or the stacks. Uh, we've addressed that on the feedback board. If you want to take a look at that idea, uh, I can bring it up here. And obviously this is our roadmap. These are things that, you, you know, if you suggest something, we'll uh, put it slide it over have the community vote on it um and be able to take a look at things that people have uh, voted on or people that have uh, suggested things you can also in engage with those other people as well um, you don't need to log in for that um, the only time you need to log in is to when you make an idea or propose an idea or a concept um, we just have you have to have an account there um, it's easy it's just an email and a password um, but in order to vote, you don't need to have an account. So again, it's uh, feedback.inkblot.art, and uh, you'll be able to vote, look at what we're doing, um, things that are currently in development are right here, and uh, things that we have planned are right here. Um, this one particular idea that I'm mentioning about the uh, inkbox, inbox style dashboard, it's similar to DA, um, it's right here. was able to tease that a little bit uh, on the Twitter account and uh, I got some pretty good uh, got a couple of votes obviously here so um, that would be some one feature that's pretty similar to DeviantArt I was an avid DeviantArt person for a while 12 years and when then when Eclipse came I deleted my account so um, obviously uh, you know we can continue to take on more uh, features and, and things that are similar to other platforms as long as the uh, community is is with that of course um, let's see. okay so I think that that helps I think. Just make sure I got everything in this question in what ways is it similar to your favorite art platforms? So yeah, the, the reblogging, the liking, and things like that. The uh, the fact that we can upload music and, and other things rather than just uh, uh, rather than just art is what makes it different from Instagram. Um, but that that kind of rolls back into the Twitter, the Tumblr part. Um, the blog post is kind of reminiscent of the journals on DeviantArt. I definitely like that part. We'll be kind of updating the um, updating the profile area so that it blog posts will be separate. That will kind of help. You know that there was some there was some suggestions on the feedback board that mentioned uh, writers being able to have more of like a a writer account, and we'll have it so that there's more customizing customization when it comes to your profile. So that if you want blog posts to be separate, you can have blog posts be separate. Um, if you want audio, like an audio gallery, you can have an audio playlist, basically. Um, we'll be doing some of that uh, to give more customization of the profile, because that's, that's pretty big. Um, but right now, we're focused on, um, in 7.6 update, we'll be bringing back the clean URLs. So a clean URL, if you're not familiar, is basically like when it says inkblot.art slash your username. So whatever the username is. If, for inkblot, the username is inkblot. So it'll be inkblot.art slash inkblot. 
which is the username for that profile. So we'll be bringing that back in 7.6. Um, it's taken a while only because we need to get dynamic linking. Uh, perhaps it might seem like such a very easy thing to do, but there's a lot of work that goes into it, especially database. At some point we had a bug that was allowing du duplicates of the same username, um, and we were able to plug that. So that also caused a setback as well, because yes, we can't have people have the same username. We're now also having to tackle the fact that people have made usernames with punctuations in it that are not going to fare well when it comes to a profile URL. So if your URL has something like an emoji in it or things like that, which I'm not exaggerating, people have done, you should probably put submit a username change or else we will be changing your username on our own and sending you an email about that. So we have to clean up the database before we had to, before we were able to do the clean URLs and to be able to make those pages load faster as well. So that's what we've been working on. Um, so that's, that's definitely, those have to come first. Those have to come first. Um, I know that it's, you know, people did not like the dirty URLs basically, um, where it's just a bunch of uh, identification numbers. Um, but again, we have to, we have to walk before we can run. And in order to do that, we had to clean the database and we had to do that stuff. So, um, so yeah, so that in terms of uh, profile customization, that's something that we'll be able to do, we'll have for people that are like, not just artists, don't want just a gallery. Um, and just be able to have like a playlist if you're an audio creator, or, you know, a, a writer has your blogs and stuff. And we'll be getting a little bit more into the whole blog stuff because I know that that's something that's been wanted and, and uh, necessary. And, Writer, writer tools is obviously very new to us. Blogs came with the transfer, which was our big um, update. Um, so back in June, um, and that's something that we, so back in June when we did our update, it was writer tools, it was um, the groups, and it was audio posts. Those were the three new things that we had not developed um, before or had. So, you know, obviously you can imagine that We've spent a lot of time on the art portion of things. So when you introduce new tools, which we introduced those in June, we've only spent just a few months on those tools or those features. So if you imagine that it's not as far developed as the art post, stuff like that. So, um, you know, th these things take time, unfortunately, and I'm, I'm sorry that we cannot move as fast as possible, um, given the fact that we're only two developers. Um, but yeah, we will be putting more features in and uh, again like that roadmap um, on featured uh, on a feedback dot art on our feedback board here you can see uh, what we're working on and these are all um, from suggestions that users made and stuff like that because um, again we, we look at this pretty often um, so yeah so um, things like the uh, tip jar is coming up really soon we just uh, were able to do some stuff with stripe in our 7.5 update um and obviously those things will go towards our patrons and memberships uh and our pro users so our pro users will get all of that stuff first before we release it to the public which would be aka the free users um we also looked into 3d content so those are features that you can uh you can also look forward to uh, pro, me pro members will obviously will get those first um, and then we'll roll it out. Pro members will also be able to do challenges as well, which we'll be updating really soon. Um, it will model after the groups feature, um, which we are getting, um, we're scrubbing clean a little bit in the database right now. Um, and once we get that done, we'll be rolling out challenges and hosting for participation of art challenges or what have you. Um, since that's something that we thought would help with engagement, so we've kind of boosted it up in our um, development queue, so that we can. Uh, it, it's pretty. It's going to be pretty similar to how the groups are, um, because it's. I mean, it's, it's pretty basic. Um, but again, we have to scrub our database a little bit, um, so that we can make groups work. And then, obviously, since we're going to model it off of the groups, how groups are working, and kind of tailor it a little bit so that the challenges then we can do that. So um, 
you know, obviously, like I said, there's some steps to be able to get to new things. So we'll be doing that. Um, right. So I think that that's a that's that's a lot. That's a, that's enough. Um, so I guess the challenges comes from Art Station. Um, so this question was pretty broad, but we are we do have quite a few things that are from other sites. And it's to be noted that just because we're copying and pasting somebody else's homework does not mean that we understand that that piece or that feature that we're copying and pasting. Um, we have to learn about it. We have to go through the trials and tribulations that how they got to that point. Like we, you know, the process, the the okay, well, this will affect this and things like that. So it sounds very easy, or it seems very easy to copy and paste from another website, but it's actually very difficult. Um, I'm an I'm an Inkblot member, but the thing that keeps me inactive is the lack of a website pulse. Will we be getting a front page with popular such recent submissions? Using the search function for this feels very, very not the same. So we have our latest area, and I did just mention the featured posts area coming up soon. So I think that. That addresses this question. I know our search function is not the best, and I, I know you're not going to want to hear this, but our, we've been working on our database, and that is the number one thing that you have to do in order to have a good search function. And that's what we've been doing. Um, we just finished that phase of the database optimization um, for the posts, so we'll be able to have our search function explore a little bit better. Um, and obviously, again, that featured post area as well we just figured out we just optimized our post data basically submission data um, is what I'm trying to say is that you know we had to clean that up so that it could um, grow with the website um, instead of giving us issues in the, in the future so we made those improvements to the database and now we're going to be able to do a featured posts and stuff like that or suggestions or filters and stuff like that so that comes with the search search function as well um but yeah the, you know a front page um and i've discussed this in the discord before i've been very weary of a front page um with the popular or the featured or whatever um there's been a lot of feedback um, about that in the past and in the future that um again it's not it's not what you're looking for, you know. It, I, I think even with DeviantArt, back when I was using it, I never went to the featured area. It never suggested something that I wanted to see. I don't know. Um, I don't know how that was, what their logic or what their their ways of doing that was, but I'm pretty much, I'm not a featured person. I'm always on the latest. I'm always on the categories and stuff like that. So, um, but not only that, it's not when with, it's not even just my personal preference of why I've, why I've kind of not done this yet. I don't know. I forget. I can't remember the word. I'm so sorry. Um, but it's not. It's not. It's not based off of personal experience that I've delayed. There you go. That I've delayed this feature or this page. It's because. There has been feedback and discussion from other users that this is not like they're they don't like these featured posts or it needs to be like this in order for them to like it and things like that and again i take this i take the feedback and discuss discussions very seriously so um you know it, trying to make something that works and meets halfway is very difficult when you're getting all this feedback and obviously we are now at the point again that we have optimized our database enough to make a featured post if you don't like the one that we make originally that's okay but you need to let us know and why <laughs> um and what could improve and and so on and so forth so um it's not it's not like like i said it's not that we don't want to have a popular or late or featured area it's the fact that we're trying to have a middle ground so that people will enjoy that page instead of avoid it because that's like i said personal experience i avoided the featured paid a featured page on dvnr um 
as in terms of website pulse, um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what what you what this meant. Um, other than what you said with the featured or the recent, we have our latest already. We have our trending posts on the home feed. Uh, hopefully, I've answered this to the best of my ability. I noticed there are commission tabs. Is Inkbot going to be managing those transactions in the future, or is it simply a way people can advertise their own open commissions? Um, so I've mentioned this in other town halls, and um, the issue with this, and it won't be right away because I do not, it's a lot, it's a lot. Yeah, um, so, so basically when you are the middleman for someone, you are also taking on the responsibility of what they are selling. Now, I do, and I don't want to take a fee. It just depends on, on, on how the website is is doing in terms of, you know, funding, obviously. Um, but it also determines, it's also being determined in what's easiest, right? Because, you know, you have places like Ko-Fi that doesn't take any percentage, right? And we can do the same. Um, and that's the model that I want to do. And so that it's just basically advertising and people can pay right through there. It's connected through API, done, boom, bada, bing. Um, if it ever comes, what is being kind of, uh, what will be the transactions We'll, we'll, we'll have that so that people can pay and stuff like that. But where that middleman fee comes in would be when we do the kind of uh, Patreon type thing. So the tip jar and the commissions, no fees. But that Patreon type aspect that we have planned, it will have a small fee. But again, it gets it gets hairy because when you when you have to when you're taking fees from people you're taking on the responsibility of what they're selling. And when you do that, that means that you can also get in trouble as well. And when I say trouble, I don't mean like I'm, I don't mean like I'm a negative connotation. I mean this in the sense that we all know that PayPal hates NSFW. So because of the content that we have and because of what, you know, because of these stipulations and restrictions from banks, not only PayPal doesn't really like it, but other banks don't like it either trying to find that bank or that financial institution that will accept this and is not going to be hard on it as others are is very difficult and then obviously if people are not are very uncaring of what they're selling and we're the middle middleman in that then we can get in trouble and our own accounts can go down the drain as well so you know it's it's just a matter of we have to be very careful when we start accepting transactions um but in terms of commissions and tip jars we're not taking any fees so the only time that we're handling is that is basically api so everything goes straight to you um so it's not going to be something that you have to go out of your way and send like an invoice or do something else um it'll be something that you can manage right there on inkblot and that's coming soon um like I mentioned before, we're getting our Stripe together in terms of for the subscription for the pro membership, and then that trickles down to the tip jar, and from the tip jar to the commissions. And then from the commissions to that Patreon type aspect, um, which you can see right here on the roadmap here. And we have our tip jar and our monthly subscription type membership thing and commission page improvements and stuff like that. Um, but again, that in that order, it will be, we're finishing up our pro subscription um, system. And then from there, it will be the tip jar. And then from the tip jar to the commissions. And then from the commissions to the Patreon or monthly subscription type system. So um, we'll be helping people get paid basically um, faster, quicker. Um, you know, that way, instead of using like three billion different websites to do it um, you can just use inkblot if you want and uh, we'll also have the guest option so that people don't have to make an account in order to commission you um, but obviously they'll, they're gonna have to um, provide their email um, 
and we'll do that as well. So that's something that uh, we can look forward to and, and do and stuff like that. Um, hopefully that answers that question. Um, right now it's just um, we need to add filters and stuff like that um, in terms of what our commission tab looks like right now. It's definitely we're going to improve it to have a search feature and people will be able to search commissions without having an account and stuff like that. Um, being able to narrow things down um, to what you want to see. Um, we have hashtags, we have uh, categories on commissions already. So it's, those things are already in place. It's just a matter of us uh, optimizing that page and, and doing everything uh, to make sure that it's good. Um, that search function, um, again, just like the regular search function, we have to improve that search function before we can apply it to this page as well, or this area, and uh, we'll be able to be good to go. Um, but again, uh, if you want uh, any feedback or you want something that you want to see, you can go ahead, go to the feedback board, the roadmap right here. Um, I think you can also comment without having an account. Let me, let me double check that. Yeah, you see uh, anonymous flamingo, you'll be named some type of animal or some type of whatever. Um, but yeah, you know, these are all things that we'll take into account. We read the comments, we read the everything. Um, even this entire post, this entire idea is not even made by me or anybody on admin team. Literally, we, we just, you know, we add, if I have a question, I'll ask it in the comment or I'll reach out to the user or whatever. Um, but we're building, you know what I mean? We're, we're building this together. <laughs> we have to. I, there's no physical way that you don't, even people that build a house or usually have a team. Um, so you, you gotta, we gotta do this as a community. So go ahead, comment again. If you're shy, you can do this anonymously. Um, and um, as long as people are being very, are being polite, appropriate, and uh, you know, in some way, type of uh, professional, then we'll go ahead and keep this so that people can be anonymous and not have to log in to leave a comment or vote. Um, so uh, that way, people are, you know, this area is also moderated by myself. So if anybody's being nasty or anything, you can go ahead and report it and uh, take care of that. But um, yeah, for the most part, you can uh, just go ahead, comment, jump in the discussion, tell us what you want to see, and we'll have it fashioned in a way that everyone um, will have a middle ground, you know? So, yeah. So, um, anyway, um, that's that's definitely um, a great great question to bring up about the co commissions, um, which is coming soon so that we can be kind of type of, we're not trying to be bloated, but we're trying to be type of a tool as well as like a social so you can explore. That's been the main idea with this. Um, it's just kind of, a social explorer platform but also you can you have all the tools needed to when someone finds you they don't have to go to somewhere else to be able to tip you or commission you or subscribe for a membership you know what i mean um we're just kind of taking those tools and putting them on a social aspect so that when they find you they can support you fully wow there's some really good art on here i don't think i've scrolled this morning uh okay wait a second let's not get sidetracked okay there we go um all right so we got oh we're, we're over time uh let's see squeezing in these last two where does inkbot stand on ai generated art being posted so we already made this announcement a couple of weeks ago um we're not doing that so sorry um we don't we don't got the manpower to be trying to maintenance and, 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 and investigate and and um, you know again I'm I'm being very blunt um, I'm I'm a very blunt person I don't know how any other way to code candy code it we're not doing it I'm so sorry but I'm sure there's other websites that can host that for you um, but AI generated art is just not human um, we we uh, support and will host human made art. Um, because those are the people that are in need the most. Robots don't have a pulse, so you can, you know, you know, that's not somebody that's that's that I can relate to. I'm sorry. Um, so, um, you know, this is something that uh, I went ahead and made uh, kind of a blanket ban on. Um, I think that it's 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 very it's encroaching on other websites in a, a negative way. Deviant, deviant art. 
there is more AI generated uh, content on the featured page than there is not. Um, it, than there is human art. Um, I think that um, there's ways that AI can be used that's not going to make a Michelangelo masterpiece from typing in a couple of words. Um, so yeah, we're also not going to be making the dis distinction between if that's AI or not. Um, obviously people can report a post and let us know, then we'll investigate, but you know, we, we, we're focused on development, you know, we're, we're, I'm not, we're not trying to play copyright investigator here. Um, like, d d you know. I'm just begging people, just just post your work. AI is not ethically trained. And until it is, cool, you know? But for right now, it just seems like a, a very money scheme, hungry, avoid paying people um, type of thing right now. And we're not interested. Um, okay, let me refresh, make sure this is the last question here, and then I'll let you all go. So sorry that we're over time here. Um, so for artists that have commissions available, would it be possible to have an integrated queue or review section in place on their profile? Uh, like a little queue, okay, like a little uh, to-do list or something in the settings, I'm guessing. I don't know who's asking this, but um, yeah, I mean, uh, it's possible. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, you know, once, especially... I mean, that doesn't seem like that doesn't seem like too much work I mean you know I'm thinking in the database processy way workflow so someone requests someone accepts they put them on a list it's like a basic to-do list I wouldn't I wouldn't see why that's not I wouldn't see why um, that's not possible. So go ahead and put that on the feedback board. If you're still in here, hopefully you are. Go ahead and put that on the feedback board. I'm not going to remember that. I have a lot of things to remember. Um, but go ahead, get that on the feedback board so people can vote. Um, go ahead, put that on the comment section of the commissions page improvements. So the little thing that I just said. Um, but go ahead and make your like a, a, your own idea before it. You don't have to comment on this yet. And then I'll transfer it over to this if I see... Um, if, if I, you know, if it gets enough votes or enough attention, enough discussion that it's been kind of, you know, we'll swoop it over here into this category um, so that people can see it and we'll have it on the list. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't see why not. It, you know, it sounds like a great idea, like a little to-do list. I don't, it won't hurt having that in one place. It won't be a Trello now. No, 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 no. I mean, I, don't, I may be in the future. I ain't, we ain't trying to be Trello though. You know, that's, now that's a lot of work, but doing like a little, little to-do list, sure. Checking it off, cool. That's fine. We can do that. But, um, yeah, just make sure you, anything, any ideas or any, anything that you want to see improve or improvements or ideas, um, go ahead and put that on the feedback board so that we can uh, take a look. Everybody can take a look. Everybody can vote on it. And, and it gets a lot of votes every day. I, I mean, it, it, people are on it. People visit that page a lot. They go on there, they vote, and they, uh, they comment. It, people are on there. You know, we, we have our users on there. So go ahead and um, take a look. If you don't, if you don't know how to find it, or you, you know, maybe I'm saying the URL a little too fast. You can always find these tools right here. The roadmap suggestion board. It's got this little, little code thing. We'll drop down. You can also find our community Discord. You can find our new user guide if you need any help. That's being updated uh, with new stuff all the time. But this takes you right to the feedback board. If you ever, if you don't want to bookmark it, I totally understand. Um, you can just put, press that right there. So, um, but yeah, um, basically, I think that that's all. That's everything. That's all the questions and topics that we had um, submitted. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and close that now. Um, if you have anything else, you can reach out to support at inkblot.art um, or you can go ahead um, basically to um, go to the feedback board and have some discussion or you can jump in Discord and there. I, I'm in there all, all the time. I'm not in there all the time, but I am in there enough that I can see some discussion. Other users love to talk and stuff and you can 
make a really nice conversation um, and get people's feedback and live time and stuff like that. Other people that want to see uh, this thing get off the ground. So, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So thank you so much for everyone coming out. I'm going to wrap this up. I could talk all day about this, literally. Um, so don't let me hold you up. Thank you so much for the questions. Thank you so much for everyone that stayed, viewed, comments. Uh, well, the ones I didn't also There's so many views out there overall telling them what they're looking for. Constantly on the front page. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, that, that's you know, we'll have the option there. You know, and at the end of the day, we're gonna make, you know, I'm not gonna say no to just everything. Okay, you know, it, again, it's a, it's a house that we're working on together. Okay, um, it, there's this very slim chances I'll say no. If it deviates from the overall mission and the overall goal, it's probably gonna be a no. As long as it deviates quite far. Now, if it's if it's not too far off the um, off the bat, then there's low, very low, like 0.5% chance there's going to be a no. As long as it gets enough votes, it's going to be going up there. Again, we're building this house together. So, um, you know, if, if my personal preference, I'll say it, I say it, but is it going to be down to that? No, <laughs> most chances it's not. <laughs> so um, I, I simply manage these things. I don't just say no. You know what I mean? I'm just managing it. I'm like, okay, maybe we could do this a little bit. Um, and again, feedback kind of shapes what we're looking at here, okay? Um, so that's pretty much about all I want to say on that in terms of some, uh, some comments that were made in the chat here. Um, but okay, uh, yeah. We'll have our next town hall sometime in uh, Jan... Okay, yeah, I'll take a look at that. Um, we'll have, we'll, we'll have our next town hall somewhere in January, February. Um, so again, we do those quarterly, um, just to kind of give everyone a, tr a transparent, uh, view of everything that's going on behind the scenes. I do tend to sprinkle in some Q and A's every now and then. So you can give a, a follow to our Twitch or you can just pop in, uh, on our, uh, our, our, the newsletter that we send out every now and then. Um, but yeah, so, or, or I mean our Twitter. Yeah. Um, so you can uh, follow those things and you'll know about the next Q&A and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, thank you so much for everyone uh, coming out uh, to view and, and stick around and, and hang out with me and listen to me try to find out what a word is. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, we'll be doing that and constant, it's pretty much just getting back to work and uh, we'll, be, we'll keep chugging, keep doing what we got to do. Thank you so much if you are a patron or a pro member. Thank you so much for your support. It's pretty much gotten us here and is keeping us here. So um, otherwise, um, I will be making the live stream uh, video and posting that in the next day or two. Um, it will have closed captioning. So in case you wanna just do a little, a little recap <laughs> or you wanna share it with your friends, you can. Um, so thank you so much guys. Um, I will see you out there. <laughs>